the NYPD. You know, you're the only horse I've ever seen with two binds. One here and one in there. I got her in front of the New York job. And her check's coming to me. I didn't forget about it. Here we are, my darling, spreading the legs kind of watery and bacon burnt to a crisp, right? A memory. Remember me? You're hard to forget, Dwight, but I hope not impossible. I'll let you in on something. Most of the women that were attracted to me avoided me in the beginning. I guess they felt I was too much for them or something. How would you like separate checks? One for you and one for your ego. Just think of me as a double date. Here's something expensive, fellas. Oh, Al can use the money. Uh, Diana, where's Rutledge? Yo, you, over here. I think I fixed it. First time ever hot wire did you fuck. I'm a hot wire you in a minute. You gotta get on that school down there and take that exam so they know what grade to put you in. You've been jiving and shucking and ducking school for two years. Hughes, I think we ought to pass on the placement test for today. I mean, there's a lot of stuff that needs doing around here. The floors need buffing, the shelves need stocking, the grill needs scraping. Your mouth needs shutting, your face needs washing, and your butt needs getting. <laughs> In your room. Do you know that every day I'm in school, you lose money? Huh? <laughs> Lunch time is takeout time, right? We're talking major bucks with my feet and your sandwiches. Keep your feet out of my sandwiches. <laughs> I am not exactly high school material, you know. The law says you are. Now, you don't show up, I got a social worker in my face in the morning. The only thing I want in my face that early in the morning is a chocolate donut. <laughs> now, get Girls gonna make me old before my time. Hell, yeah, we pass old. Yeah, I guess we are legally geezers. <laughs> <laughs> I should have known better than try to raise a teenage girl. Yeah, this time you got a real pistol. You know, somebody's different. With boys, they're easy. They do something bad, I whack them upside the head. <laughs> if they were good, I wouldn't. <laughs> With a girl, I don't know what to do. Go with your instincts. What's left of them? <laughs> How come your place is so packed, man? Ain't nobody having breakfast at my place. You know why? You own a Chinese restaurant. What? And nobody eats Chinese food this time of morning. Not even Chinese. <laughs> Why not? Because it's hard to say. Moo goo ga pan with your lips leaving. Oh. Hughes, I really don't want to take this test. Listen, don't worry about it. You're going to be as good as the rest of those kids. See, I got a feeling you're going out there and nail this test and make me proud of you. And I'm never wrong. 
You were wrong about the Rose Bowl. Well, that's different. I was sick. <laughs> you know how to get Hey, Hughes, there's no way I'm going to make it to that test. I got five minutes. They don't let you in if you're late. Uh, Dwight. Yo. Uh, do me a favor. You make a delivery for me. I dropped Tony off at school. Uh, I'm sorry, Al. I can't allow an unauthorized civilian on my animal. <laughs> do it for me. No can do. Uh, do it for Tony. No way. Why? Come on, do it for me. All right, let's head him up and move him out. <laughs> you know, you've been hit by a typhoon. <laughs> Hi, Al. Hey, what's happening, Ralph? Al, I paid 90 bucks for this dress at Bloomies. Please, call me Rita. Your lips might be whispering Rita, but those size 13 shoes is screaming Ralph. Face it, Al, you're just not an 80s kind of guy. Oh, is the new Hogan? Yeah. yeah. Oh, and a copy of Sports Illustrated, too. Sometimes I get nostalgic. Thanks, sir. Uh, what about the dress? Don't push it. <laughs> I'm back. Uh, how'd the test go? Oh, the first part was pretty easy. You know, I spelled my name right and I knew the date. <laughs> the was, I don't know. Don't worry about it. Everybody always thinks they did worse than they did. Oh, wait a minute. I got something for you. Jacket. Nothing gets past you, does it? <laughs> From your new alma mater. This is great. I always dreamed of owning a jacket like this. You know, the last one I had got taken away. The kid I stole it from wanted it back. <laughs> See, you don't have to steal if you want something you work for. You really think this school's gonna take a kid like me? <laughs> they took a kid like me? <laughs> Tony, you gotta get up every morning believing that your dream is gonna come true. And then, even if a little dream comes true, you gotta remember, you made it happen. You can make it happen again and again. Yeah, but what if you do all that stuff and life still doesn't work out? Well, you pick yourself up and dust yourself off and go somewhere and cry. <laughs> do up the movies, movies, do up the movies. I'm in that box, I'm in that jail. Take your tape off. Stay alert today, Al. I'm picking up a crime vibe in the air. I'm looking for A. Hughes. I'm A. What's your letter? <laughs> I'm Rod Tyler. I'm the counselor at Tucker High. I tested your foster daughter. Oh, yeah. How'd she do? I got a smart girl there. Uh, what'd she get, 100%? Uh, hardly. Uh, 90? 80? Uh, 75? Can I hear 65? <laughs> Mr. Hughes, she tested at a seventh grade level. I'm afraid we're going to have to put her back in junior high this fall. Oh, no, don't do that. If you do that, she'll wind up just like me, a high school dropout. And I want more for Tony than I had. Well, the tests show to seventh grade abilities, and the tests don't lie. Well, you, you don't have the whole story. See, she's a street kid. She's been passed around more than a counterfeit 20. She's 15 years old. And if you put her back in seventh grade, she'd go crazy. And I know I'll lose her. Well, perhaps you're not the one to raise her. Hey, Hughes, why are you begging this polyester geek? I ain't going back to the seventh grade. We don't need him. We're his jive school.
floor. The cat hardly touched it except for two fries. Dinner is served. Isn't that great? Isn't that hot? Isn't that Al? <laughs> you even made him look good. I could do the same for your food. So come on, let me design your menu. I got plenty of time now. That depends on what kind of money we're talking about. Nothing. Fifty bucks. I'll pick nothing. Give me a break. I'm a first-class artist. I have a public exhibit and everything. Where is that? It's right on the subway. If you run alongside the BMT uptown, you can see three of my best pieces. Hey, where you going? Al's always saying I should mull things over before I go jumping into something. So I'm gonna go find some place to mull. Hey, wait a second. Guess it's not my week. Remember this? It's called food. I'm not hungry. Eat it anyway. You show any more bone, you're gonna get buried by a dog. Hey! So you bombed on the placement test. You can always take it again. Yeah, and flunk again. You know, this is the first place I've ever actually unpacked and I haven't stolen anything. <laughs> okay, a David Lee Roth poster. I got one of Julio Iglesias and a wet t-shirt. Man, I really hated disappointing Al. I just wanted him to be proud of me in some way. My luck, he picked school. Hey, Al. Hey, Al, what's up? What's up, Al? Hey, Al. Hey, take that UFO and put him back in orbit. Hey, Al. Yeah. What happened with the principal? Well, we got to talking about this and that, and we got around to Tony's test, and he said he had to go by the book. So I suggested he put the book away. Man went crazy. I don't understand. Well, maybe that's something to do with where I told him to put the book. <laughs> the man threw a lit pipe at me. Pero que cara tu tienes? Yeah, maybe I said that too. I'm, I'm sorry, Tony. That's okay. I appreciate you trying. Look. I know it's really important to you that I go to school. And maybe junior high might not be so bad. At least I'll be the tallest kid there. So, uh, if you want me to go, I'll do it for you. But you don't belong in junior high. Oh, I'll catch this one. Way to go with the principal, Lau. The man is looking for a father figure. And what does he get? The Terminator. You keep bugging me and you're gonna meet the exterminator. I didn't insult the guy, Al. You did. So what are we gonna do now? We gotta show Tony that we care about her. And we're in our corner. It wasn't all bad. One good thing came of it. While his back was turned, I borrowed the tests. You gotta be kidding. Well, if he didn't want me to have it, why would he leave it in his desk drawer? <laughs> All right, everybody. Here's the test that Tony took. Now, it's supposed to be for the average person. And this is the most average bunch I could think of. <laughs> now, here goes. Here's the math question. Jane traveled two hours at 70 kilometers per hour and for five hours at 60 kilometers per hour. What was Jane's average speed in miles per hour? Where's Jane going? What's the difference? Where's Jane going? Don't ask me. I don't even know the woman. Look, it's simple. We're dealing here with time and distance. Now, over here we got time, and over here we got distance. <laughs> Maybe it would help if we knew where Jane was going. You know something? Your horse should have rode you here. I can't 
can't think with this on. <laughs> Let's try this one. The town of Canton is west of Mason. And the town of Sinclair is east of Canton, but west of Mason. Dexter is east of Richmond, but west of Sinclair and Canton. Which town is farthest west? And what the hell are these bozos talking about? No problem. I got an airtight sense of direction. No matter where a guy dumped me off, I could always find my way home. <laughs> The counter is east, the door is west. First town, Al. Uh, Canton. Jim Jam, you're Canton. Stand over here and don't move. Next town, Al. Uh, Mason. Uh, what oh. are you doing? Trust me. Ralph, you're Mason. And Mason's east of Jim Jam. I mean, Canton. And then Sinclair's next, and Sinclair's west of Canton. Al, you be Sinclair. I don't want to be Sinclair. I want to be Dexter. <laughs> Dwight, get over here. I kind of wanted to be Canton. <laughs> Father's from there. Our family plots there. How would you like to be the next one in it? Okay, okay, I'll be Sinclair. What am I, east or okay, west? you're west. And I'll be Richmond. Okay, uh, who's Mason? You're Canton. Are you sure? I thought I was Mason. Wait a minute. Al, aren't I west to you? Well, I'll be west of everybody. <laughs> what I don't know is how can they determine a person's IQ with a test like that? But I figure we fall somewhere between a worm and a germ. That's depressing. <laughs> What's depressing is that Tony is smarter than all of us put together. And I'm going to see to it that she gets a chance to prove it. I'm going to see to it. A do birds sing so gay. Lovers awake the break of day. Why do they fall in love? Why do fools fall in? Hey, Hughes, what are you doing? We just got to cooking. Nice girls don't do out well this hour night. Hey, what's the big deal? The big deal is I think I got a way to get you into high school. The only way I'm getting into high school is with burglar tools. <laughs> Forget about school, man. Look at you. You did okay without it. Yeah, but with a little more education, I could have been president. My face would look good on money. <laughs> Come on. Hey, time out, man. I'm not going in there with him. Wait a minute. You know, I know something about you that you don't know. Yes? Yeah. You've been in the streets so long, you think that's the only place you can make it. But I'm going to prove that you're wrong. How? Do you trust me? Yeah, I trust you. Okay, then we're gonna walk in there and show that guy what you made of. See, I don't want to sound like one of them late night preachers, but sometimes life is like a game show. Now, right now you can take the street, or you can take what's behind door number one. <laughs> now, come on. You know, I never did anything to hurt you. Let's go. Okay, John Wayne. <laughs> Uh, Mr. Hughes, but I certainly hope this isn't going to take long. I'm meeting some colleagues. Hmm? Uh, sit down. We're your new colleagues. And we're about to take the Al Hughes, who you put in the seventh grade with your uppity bourgeois placement test. I know I wouldn't like door number one. Now, we're supposed to start with the smartest one. That's you, isn't it? Well, yes. Okay. <laughs> All right, then. Now, sit up and pay attention. My old word is there and broke down again. Can you fix it? Oh, certainly not. I have a master's degree in education. I'd call some sort of qualified uh, technician. You hear that? Tyler would call a technician. What would you do, Rutledge? Hughes, you are real close to the end of the pier. <laughs> just answer the question. I'd fix it, just like I did the other day. Oh, how would you do that without blowing yourself to New Jersey? First thing, I unplugged it. Then I checked the fuses. They were cool. So I scoped out the power supply and I saw the red wire was loose. So I resoldered it, taped it, and forgot to charge you $29.95. Now, how many of your 10th graders can do that? Uh, Hughes, this isn't... Uh, no, it isn't. Quite now, the... Wait a minute. Now we're going to the mathematical area. Question number two. Now, 
You want to go to the Bruce Weinstein concert? Uh, that's Springsteen. Springsteen, Jelly Bean, Mustard Green, who cares? Now, a scalper's got two tickets for $100, and you don't have no money at all. How are you going to get in the concert? Use this is ridiculous. Wrong. Give me that surrender. First, I look for a big shot in a big car. They never have a ticket. So I tell them I could get them a ticket for 150 bucks. Then I cruise on over to the scalp and I buy two tickets for $100. So I pop one ticket in my pocket and 50 bucks. I give the big shot his one ticket and I walk away with 50 bucks and a ticket in my pocket. <laughs> Parlor games. Hughes, you have wasted my time. Wrong, chump. <laughs> get your sketch bad. She's got talent. I bet you didn't test her for that. Look at these. This should count for something. Delightful. Bottom line, she still failed. Hmm? You gave her the wrong test. I gave her the only test. Well, I bet you if she'd been seven foot five and could slam dunk a basketball, you'd have found a way to get into your high school. <laughs> Maybe, but that's the way the system works. The system stinks. Sure, it's the system's fault. Why is that always the way with you people? What people? Who you calling people? <laughs> you know who I mean. You and you. You think that you don't have to live by the rules? Those rules were created by responsible educators, and they say that she is going back to the seventh grade. Over my dead body. Whatever is necessary. Then over your dead body. <laughs> you, you are a ridiculous and belligerent old man. Don't mess with this belligerent old man. You get your hat brought to the hospital. <laughs> I think this might be a good time for you to rejoin the system. It's been a slice. I wish you were a younger man. I wish I was, too. You were fierce! You, you were beautiful. Yeah, I was beautiful, wasn't I? things behind us. Uh, maybe I could uh, learn to use the cash register. Maybe I could learn to cook. Maybe I could wait tables. Maybe you could zip your lip, because you're going to school. <laughs> Come on, Hughes. Tyler's a pencil neck, but he's right. I don't belong in the 10th grade. You do belong in the 10th grade. You're smart. Those bozos are wrong. And I'm going to find a way to get you into private school. If they don't take you, I'll get you a tutor. You really think I'm smart? Sure I do. That's why I push you so hard, because I want you to be something, even if you don't. Well, this is the first time anybody ever said I was smart. So, I have to ask you uh, a few questions. Uh, when you say smart, do you mean regular smart or smarter than regular? I mean, your head's on tight. How do I stack up against the other kids, you know, the boys? Way up there. Am I smarter than you? You were until you asked that question. Okay, I'll give it my best shot. Square business. But it's gonna be hard finding a teacher more special than you. Oh, that's right. I forgot. You don't hug. That's right. You do now! <laughs> Never alone. 